number one at a question sa akin ng mga nag inquire so on how much did it cost me to build a container van. Napatod ko yung ginawa nyo. Actually, parang same yung story namin. Gusto nila subdivision sana. Sa lupa pa lang mahal, tas maliit. So now, uh, I started to uh, visit a few places, Tagaytay, Amadeo, and then last dito sa Kalamba. A foot ng Mount Makiling, actually. Mount Bang Medyo, nasa 700 feet above sea level na rito. Eh. It's basically raw, raw land, as in bukid to eh. Farmland to eh. As in, walang kalye, tubig, walang kuryente. But when I saw the place and I saw the view, I fell in love. I go, wow, ganda. I guess, mukhang nakita ko na yung gusto ko. We used to live in Makati until we sold our property there. And kami, actually, apat kami magkakapatid and tatlo sa amin nandito sa area na to. And comparing the two between living there and living here, it's a world of difference. Kaya doon, mainit. Puro simento. Uh, hindi fresh air. Unlike dito, malamig. So, ang layo talaga. And then, super tahimik. As early as 2014, when I first saw pictures of container van, I sabi ko, ang ganda nito ah. And then, it's simple. And then, I started to study it. Yung ano lang, yung high-level studies lang na, okay, paano, paano siya gawin, ano kailangan foundation. So, sabi ko, parang mas madali siyang gawin. I drew design, ano, ano yung gusto ko. Um, incorporate ko yung nakita ko dito. Incorporate ko yung nakita ko dito sa isa. And then, yun. And then, gusto ko talaga maliit lang yung bahay. Around 70 square meters lang to, yung total living area. Pero yung usable area niya, 150 to 180 square meters. Yeah, kasi kasama yung third floor deck, second floor deck, eh, front deck. Supposed to be kasi, this is only three container vans. Isang 40-footer na high ceiling, and then dalaw dalawang 20-footer for the rooms. Dalawang rooms nito sa taas. Ito, Itong area na to, pinadagdag lang namin to, pina-extend namin to para lumaki-laki ng konti yung sala. All-in na living room, pwedeng dining, and then if I, we have guests and we don't have enough rooms, pwede rin dito matulog. And then the materials nga yun, um, container vans, some 40, dalawang 20, and then basically this is made of ano lang, it's uh, steel, glass, and cement. Little to no wood, even the ceilings are uh, made of uh, PVC. Little to no wood ako dun sa construction materials because dito kasi sa area na to, medyo maulan and uh, maraming anay. Kasi ayan, number one at a question sa akin ng mga nag inquire So on how much did it cost me to build a container van kasi basically almost everyone has no idea how to build a container van house so now um di ko naman masabi yung exact figures pero sabi ko it's basically the same as uh, building a regular house so if you have an idea about a regular house with the same size it's basically the same give or take a few lang eh Pwedeng mas mahal, pwede. Depende sa materials na gagamitin. O pwedeng mas mura. Ang advantage mo lang, pagka container van ang ginamit mo, mas mabilis ang construction. Well, except dun sa mga, syempre, marami akong pinadagdag. So, umabot ako ng one year. Pero supposed to be, it's only six to eight months buo na. Ganun kabilis yung pag-construct ng bahay. And then, sa maintenance nga, pagka yung conventional, medyo mas, mas costly ang maintenance. Ito, puro bakal. Well, but of 5 mm, 3 mm ang kapal nung ano. It's basically bulletproof. Solar panels ko. Basically, 4 in 1. Well, solar panels, so solar energy. Number 2, it's also my rain catcher. Solar panels, di ba? Pergola na yan, eh, ba? basically. Sa ilalim niyan, it's, it's my ano, water cistern. So, kumbaga yan yung tanki ko ng tubig. So, pag umapaw yung IDC tank, pupunta dun sa cistern. Basically, that's three. So, and the fourth one, yun nga. Pwede, it's a relaxing place actually. Gusto nyong 
kumain sa labas. It's basically four in one. Napali niya ng tubig pero sabi, magkakaroon na daw within the year. Um, that's why naglagay ako niya. Just to, kasi mahal ng tubig, mahal. Eh, puro ano, for delivery per truck. One five din yun. <laughs> And it's good for what? Ten? Ten, 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 to, ten days to two weeks lang. And syempre, puro babae pa yung kasama ko. So, pag nag-CR sila, talagang... <laughs> insist ko talaga na magkaroon ng third floor deck basically parang viewing deck so you can uh, see the place uh, 360 if you dream and you have the resources go for it dapat may dalawang isip especially when buying uh, properties and lupa kung sa bahay lupa number one. So, pagawa ka naman, hindi naman sa'yo yung lupa, di ba? So, number one, lupa. If you have the resources to get one, get it. Now, in the future, at hindi mo nagustuhan, you can always sell it. And ang, ang lupa, hindi bumababa ang presyo. Tumataas ang value lagi. So, it's uh, the best investment you can have. And as for the house, if you have something in mind, wag mental note. Sulat mo, drawing mo. May naisip ka, drawing mo. Kahit ano, kahit kalahig manok yung... Drawing mo, drawing mo, drawing mo lang. Lagyan mo ng ganito, lagyan mo ng ganyan. I have a few friends who seeks my advice because yun nga, sabi ko, sabi nila, 2014 to pa, yun pa iniisip yan eh. Bago ba yung idea mo? Sabi ko, may mga konting na bago, pero basically, at least may baseline ka eh. No? Yung, may, may plano ka eh. Kung wala kang plano, yung basta-basta ka na lang, mas, mas magsisisi ka eh. Mas maganda, umpisa pa, abaga pa, kahit wala ka wala pa resources, ganyan, ganyan. It pays to have a plan. Pag may plano ka, mas maganda, ano, mas smooth. If you have an inspiring story tulad ito, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com at huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe dito sa OG Channel. Thank you for watching.